it's really cool. Yeah. So you, yeah. you would want to try both, I think. I don't even know why I'm here. <laughs> in today's video, we will talk about the top brunch places in Rhode Island based on our opinion and our, yes. our take. Based on where we've been, based on what we know. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what this so comes from. So I'm sure from. we'll be missing some. Uh, yes, we some probably will be missing some. Not but to say these are all the best. But yeah, uh, if you if you guys felt like we missed any important spots, let us know. So without any further ado, my name is Albert. I'm a realtor with Home Smart Professionals and team leader at the Hydar Group. Serena, our team manager, uh, also a realtor with Home Smart Professionals. In this channel, all we cover everything you need to know about living in Rhode Island. We start with you know real estate. If you're interested about buying selling if you have any of those kinds of questions don't forget to uh, reach out to us you know where to find us if you're looking for market updates how much is your property worth uh, if you're looking to move here uh, what areas and what neighborhoods are best for you we could definitely help you out with that also uh, the subscribe button is gonna be somewhere over here so uh, click that subscribe button and maybe click the bell too if you want to get notifications when we drop videos like this you know we started with dropping videos like once a week and now we're doing uh, two to three a week sometimes so yeah yeah, let's go. Uh, l nobody cares about this. Let's get into uh, <laughs> the top brunch spots. A little background. I've worked in restaurants for over a decade before I started real estate with Albert. Right. Um, so I have a lot of opinions about, you know, what the best restaurants are in the area that I've been to. Um, so I thought it would be fun to do a little best brunches out of what we know. Again, this is not you know, we've, there are places that we haven't been to that we can't speak about. So I'm yep. sure that there are some other awesome spots, but these are some of our favorites. We're located in Seekonk, Mass. So we're closer to the um, East Providence, Providence, like Providence County and Bristol County area. So that's where most of these are gonna be located. First on the list, we love, it's my favorite right now. Albert has been a couple of times with me. It's Little Sister in Providence on Hope Street. Yep. Um, awesome, awesome brunch. It's a new spot. It was open during COVID, I believe. I think we went. We went. During we went COVID. during COVID. Yeah. And for all of you who were saying, "How did you go during COVID?" I don't <laughs> care. We followed the rules. No, we, yeah, we were. You know, Come we were on. responsible. But yes. it was when they reopened restaurants and you could go and what sit are, far we were, from we people were, with a mask on. We were pale as hell back then. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we did it. They have inventive, especially well-made pastries and breakfast mm -hmm. with Puerto Rican influences. Um, it's situated on the corner of Rochambeau and Hope, and it's a little cozy eatery serving up a delectable selection of breakfast empanadas, handmade croissants, quesitos, uh, some of the most flavorful home fries around. Um, I love them. They have the little brava sauce on them. Um, the best toast and jam you're going to find in the area. I true. think it, it has to be a homemade toast. It's phenomenal. Um, and homemade jam. They give you like mm -hmm. a selection of three. You choose whatever you want. Their toasted sesame and almond croissant is awesome. It's mm -hmm. a small little spot, really small. I think they have maybe like five tables inside in a bar. And you just walk in. You look, look at the menu. You order with them while you're standing up. Find your seat. And then they, they drop the food to you. Um, they also have a little like secret garden space on the side yeah. um, that's really fun uh, to sit over there. And they've got, you know, I, I, I think they might have a vegetable garden out there, but I know they have like flowers and stuff growing. Mm -hmm. It's pretty great, great spot. They're open from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. every Thursday to Sunday. Ask for if they have it, ask for the hot sauce. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a homemade hot sauce that uh, the owner makes and mm -hmm. it's absolutely delicious It's very different than uh, your usual hot sauce of mm -hmm. what you would think about um i love it it's one of my favorite hot sauces and uh, i would definitely ask for it yeah it's great we have it at home i think we were th their first person to buy it right yeah that's right she started packaging it up and he was saying how much he liked it and she came over and she was like oh you have to buy the hot sauce and it's like packaged really cute mm -hmm. um and it's delicious the next really good brunch cool brunch spot is amy's on wickenden street yeah. Um, it's really cool. Casual uh, eatery, right? Yes, it's a, it's it's more of a casual casual spot. Well, they have like quick breakfast to go. You can enjoy it in the mm -hmm. small shop if you want. Uh, we usually like are stopping by before going to work or the office, and we'll pick up like a breakfast sandwich. But their food's really good. My favorite sandwich there is the Hangover. Uh, it's a great sandwich. I love it. It's made on a, on a Portuguese bolo uh -huh. uh, with some bacon, avocado, or you can do sausage instead. You can and add it, yeah. you can add it. Uh, I think it has some arugula too, and they have this hot sauce that they put. An egg. 
an egg, obviously. Uh, it's, it's it's really good. That's my f- that's literally my favorite breakfast sandwich in Rhode he Island. He loves it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I, I'm trying to not eat it every day because it's, you know, but, um, <laughs> but it's really good. Yeah. yeah delicious. It. But great spot. Amy's awesome place in Fox Point. Next, Avenue N, Rumford. Avenue N, Rumford. We yeah. love it there. Mm-hmm. Um, weekend brunches, though, not open during the week. Don't know when they open. I think it might be 10 a.m. Really great homemade donuts, right? They have like, it's like oh, a lemon yeah. donut. So good. Um, little sandwiches, very affordable too. I think the like the breakfast sandwiches are maybe seven dollars a piece. Yeah. Their breakfast cob salad is awesome. So if you're you know trying to stay away from the carbs, um, they've got a great option. And then it's like I said, pretty affordable. But I remember that like mimosas over there are around twelve or thirteen dollars, which I think is a little pricey. Um, but it's worth it because the food yeah. is on the lower end yeah. for pricing. Yeah, and no, the, the food's really, really good. good. It's you're uh, you're gonna get your usual breakfast kind of food there but mm-hmm. the and good thing, specials yeah and really good they specials a pancake special yeah what i like is that um uh, most of their ingredients probably all of their ingredients are local from local farmers yeah. uh and well they and have the pantry which is awesome exactly they, they have the pantry yeah, right they there too they support local people a lot especially in the pantry like that you know mm-hmm. up, you see all local products so i'm, tr- I'm trying to say that it's really high quality. Yeah. They have a lot of like fun specials. They too. do, yeah. But it, it's mostly like what kind of like what you would expect in a breakfast place. And what you want. And what you want, exactly. It's it smaller and they also have, um, I, I want to say they can fit maybe like 30 people on the inside at once. Um, maybe a little more because they have the bar. Um, and then they have the so outdoor much. seating during the warmer months, which yeah. is nice. What's next? Rogue Island. A Rogue Island. We love Rogue Island. Yes. It's great. That's in Providence downtown. Weekend brunch again. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite thing? Uh, the fried chicken and waffles. Honestly, probably the only place I would eat fried chicken and waffles. I know they're on the smaller place. side. For they you, are on the smaller side. But they're side. delicious. <laughs> but they are really good. Yeah. yeah. They have fried Absolutely. chicken and biscuit too, which is awesome. I love the huevos rancheros there. But Albert would say that I eat huevos rancheros everywhere that I go. That's so. True. They yeah. have a great one at Avenue N too. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Um, but you should I think make a video about huevos. I know I should. Rancheros. <laughs> the best, you know. Best places in Rhode Island for huevos rancheros. Yeah. Rogue Island's awesome. They have bottomless mimosas, which not many places do. I honestly can't think of another place that does actually. Bottomless mimosas. Yeah, bottomless. I don't, and it's a good price. It's like twenty dollars, and you get bottomless mimosas. That's right there in itself is a reason to go there, but. It helps that the food is also awesome, and they have amazing cocktails, too. Mm-hmm. I remember um, we went for dinner before, and I had an awesome whiskey sour from yeah, there. Yeah. I think you had a great old-fashioned, and that's right in downtown Providence. Uh, it's in the arcade, so yeah, uh, you, can, you don't have to go into the arcade to get in there, but um, it's fun if you go on the weekend and get brunch, and then you can walk, walk through the arcade uh, and small shops shop. In there. So the next place is probably... You know, everyone knows it's popular. It's been covered in different, you know, magazines and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So it definitely has a, a name for itself. Probably the most popular place in Providence. Uh, you think so? As far as fame goes. One of them. Well, really? I, I mean, so. I mean, it's one of the. Yeah, it is. It's one of the, the most. Popular anyway, it's spots. Nick's on Broadway. Nick's yeah. on Broadway is. Uh, it's definitely if you want to think of a innovative brunch place that's the place to go yeah although i noticed which i marked here it seems like their brunch menu has shrunk a little bit post covid i don't know Mm -hmm. if i'm assuming it's probably because of covid but maybe they have a lot of special editions because when i was looking at it just to refresh my memory i didn't see nearly as much as many brunch options as there were when i last went there okay um but i'm sure everything that they have it's it's still it's always delicious there it's one of the best it really brunch is. spots yeah around yeah. and they're open wednesday through sunday which is nice it's not just a weekend brunch um yeah so that's good and they also have great wine i have i've had some delicious wines there nice cocktails and the steak and eggs is good i love the steak and eggs yeah, and it's yeah. cool on the inside, right? Yeah, it's very cool, and it's I very mean, modern looking. We haven't. I feel like we haven't been since COVID. There. We haven't. Yeah. But uh, I mean, we I remember if you go first off, if you don't make a reservation, be prepared to usually the way it used to be, be prepared to wait to wait online. Yeah, but it's while. not usually too long at Nick's. Well, you're you're gonna wait. You probably you're will. Sometimes you don't, but if you wait, I don't think you're usually you're usually not waiting longer than like a half hour. 
Yeah, if that's, it's a super that's, busy time me, to, on the weekend, yeah, maybe I mean, forty-five minutes. That's to me thirty minutes. I, I he I'm doesn't not, like to wait. Yeah, I'm not waiting thirty minutes. He's not for, patient. But it's worth it. It's it's worth it's worth the wait. Nice and then, ambiance, good stuff. Talk about wait. Exactly. That's what uh. I was gonna say. Because this place has a very long wait all the time. All it's the always time. like over an hour yeah. when you go. It's there. the kind of place where people go eat breakfast food for lunch. And it's and it's like the most down to earth of all the spots. So like Absolutely. everyone's trying to go there just to chill yeah. out and have a good time. Julian's in Providence. Julian's. It's actually right, like right, right next to there, uh, Nick's, Nick's on Broadway, Broadway. Julian's. The Grange, which we'll talk about next. Yeah. Um, they're all right next to each other on exactly. Broadway. That's one it. of the best things about Julian's is that they're open every day for brunch, which no one else on our list exactly, is yes. open every day. That's what I meant, right? Like you can go have yeah, breakfast food for lunch. They're just like, they're open. They're they're always jamming. Cranking, you yeah. can tell they're working hard. They're putting out yeah. good food and drinks and they're just, it's just such a, I love it because it's a relaxed energy, mm-hmm. laid back, but everything's really good um yeah and also it's a cool I, spot same with nick's on broadway i love the, the kitchen is open so mm-hmm, you know cool. you can sit you can even sit at the bar or or just kind of like in the restaurant in most areas you will see the kitchen and the the chefs working behind there it's really cool completely yeah. different vibes p- Very probably different op- vibes, yeah. probably opposite uh from yeah. each other but they definitely are great um mm-hmm. you know if you're you know if you're going to nick's on broadway first off i want to say i'm like Correct me if I'm wrong, but I want to say it's a little bit more pricey. I don't think that it's too pricey. Yeah. It's it's probably pricier than Julian's because Julian's. I'm is, not saying it's price. I'm just saying compared yeah. to Julian's, it's I think it's pricier, pricier for dinner maybe, or yeah. if you get like a real like a steak and egg or something like that. Yeah. The, also, another difference is in portions. And Nick's, you're gonna have oh. smaller portions. The different serving, it's more of a like kind of like modern creative yeah. food. And in Julian's, you're gonna get not too not stuffy though. Yeah, and and at Julian's, you're probably gonna get not probably you're gonna get huge entrees, huge omelets yeah. with a with huge sizes yeah. bread. Like you're gonna get that classic yeah. uh, breakfast meal that you are looking for. Yeah. At least I'm looking for. Yeah, he, yeah, <laughs> yeah. definitely. Um, and they have, always have a good amount of specials too. One of my other favorite things about it is that they have uh, the option on their menu to buy around for the staff, which is super cool. Um, I love that. Oh, yeah. So like the staff can have a beer, you know, on their shift and it's on you. And it's not too pricey either. I think you pay like $15 and you get it, you can buy around for the staff. Great brunch cocktails and beer. Yeah. Really good Bloody Marys over there. Just an overall cool spot. Laid back, mm-hmm. good food, good drinks, fun yep. vibe. Everyone, Everyone's always trying to go there. And you know by the line. Next on our list is, like we said, the Grange, um, which is vegetarian. I'm going to walk Albert's away favorite. from this one. <laughs> not see. Albert's favorite. I'll see, I'll see you later. <laughs> awesome food, though. And he's been there for dinner and loved it. So... Yeah, it's great. I, I'm just, you know, if I'm to me, if I'm, I'm just not a big vegetarian kind of guy, but uh, it's it's great food. I mean, it's I'm kidding. It's it's really tasty food. Mm-hmm. Probably the most popular vegetarian place mm-hmm. in uh, in Providence. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and one of the only most of, one of that, the only, that yeah, restaurant right. group it's, owns all like it, a lot of the oh, vegetarian Oh yeah, yeah, you're spots. right. Yeah, you're yeah. right. You're right. I wanted to shout them out anyway, but apparently they are temporarily closed right now due to, you know, some oh. hard times through COVID. Oh. Um, it says that they're planning to reopen in the future once they have, th- once there aren't, you know, food shortages and shortages of whatever they, they need in the restaurant. Um, they mm-hmm. just don't want to be open and um, not have, their have, yeah, exactly. Lots of foods. exactly. And I'm assuming like to, cr- to do vegan because they also are mainly a vegan restaurant. Not mainly. They are on a daily basis. They're a vegan restaurant. So mm-hmm. I'm assuming it's really hard, for, uh, much harder for them to get the necessary ingredients to create probably. vegan dishes. Yeah, probably. Uh, rather than, you know. Unfortunately, because yeah. we love it. We wanted to shout. I wanted to shout it out because I love it. And I, you know, I'm looking forward to when they reopen again. Mm-hmm. They have amazing cocktails there. They have phenomenal food. Like you would never know that half of the dishes are vegan and especially the desserts we had dessert there and i remember being like this is yeah the dessert this is, is dairy crazy. free <laughs> yeah, you're um right. and their brunch is really great they do a vegetarian brunch it's not vegan because they do have options to um get eggs so the food's just really good um definitely wanted to shout them out even though they're not opened right now they will be in the future hopefully 
And then we have Water Dog. We finally Warren. have a, a restaurant that is not in Providence. I know. <laughs> um, this is actually pretty far from Providence. Or East Providence. Or East Providence, yeah. Or North uh, Providence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wa- Water Dog in Warren, Rhode Island. It's um, it's really, it's probably the last, I want to say as far as a restaurant in Rhode Island, uh, they won the COVID you know battle as far as we know yeah yeah as far as we know yeah they i mean during they COVID. opened during covid mm-hmm. and they were just popping Cranking i mean from the beginning yeah from yeah. the beginning like now uh, you know we you cannot it's you cannot just go walk in there especially in the weekend yeah it's packed they have an in- indoors outdoors uh the building is is an old historical building so it has it used to be a house, so it's yeah, got a really it, cool vibe. Yeah, it used to be a, a, a old house, and then they just kind of like converted it, but kept the character of the property. Mm-hmm. It screams Rhode Island in there, uh, and then they just have really creative uh, brunch food. Yeah, uh, and food in general. Yeah, yeah. But since we're talking about brunch, um, mm-hmm. if if you're looking for that kind of, it's just it's different. It's it's heavier. It's heavier food, heavy, mm-hmm. heavier servings, uh, but you're definitely going to. Uh, Feel. Not everything, but yeah. Yeah, mostly most it, entrees, yeah. but you're definitely gonna feel absolutely everyone amazing. Loves it. Check out after check it out on Instagram. They've got a good Instagram. Yeah, that's too. the other thing. They got a really really good following mm-hmm. on Instagram. Um, yeah. steak and eggs over risotto was delicious. The fried chicken and French toast was amazing. Oh my God, I almost ordered a, a second entree. Yeah, it was that. so good. I, although yeah. you could not eat anymore. They have awesome apps too. They have they have like shrimp rangoons and um, fried cauliflower. Both are awesome. Um, they're at, they have them at brunch time and great drinks, outdoor seating during the warmer yeah, months. The, the and when it's cooler, they have, um, fire pit, they have fire pits out there at night and mm-hmm. they have heaters, um, to keep you warm. Yeah. Uh, try if, if you go there, if it's your first time, try your best to sit outside. It's really good. All, it's really I bet fun. you're not, you're going to have a great time if you sit inside too, because it's mm-hmm. so cool in there. Like the yeah. way that they've done the decor and everything, it's really cool. So yeah. Yeah. You, you would want to try both, I think. I don't even know why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, I saved it for last because we've never been there. But okay. I wanted to mention it on the list because I've heard amazing things about Howie's. Howie's in North Providence. Mm-hmm. I don't have experience with them, so I can't tell you really about the food. But from what I've heard from many different people, it's a really, really great spot for breakfast and brunch and i wanted to shout them out because they focus on fresh ingredients and they're a nice. family-run business um and we love supporting great small local businesses so wanted to mention them here i definitely need to try it soon i'm sure we'll go we'll go this weekend <laughs> we'll make it we'll make a trip yeah. this weekend so we can yeah. speak more on it and then we have the last one which i love i probably it's you know what it's probably my favorite out of all yeah. of them uh, it's the modern diner in Pawtucket. Classic comfort foods, yeah. uh, just classic breakfast. Classic breakfast food. Classic breakfast food. And, and it's, mimosas, though, they serve alcohol. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah. They serve. Uh, if you want to get lit, you can get lit there. Yeah, you can. So the coolest th- thing about it is that um, it's it's in a historic train car in Pawtucket. This restaurant was chosen to be the first diner in the nation to be accepted on the National Register for Historic Places. Boom. Customized and factory built, it is a Sterling Streamliner, a line of modernistic diners manufactured in the late 1930s and early 1940s. Mm. So it's really cool. Uh, it's It looks like, if you look at it, um, I maybe uh, we can get a picture up here. It's yeah. just a, it looks like a little piece, part of a train. Yeah, it's it's really it's really cool. It definitely is a it's it's an it's a really cool experience that you should mm-hmm. definitely do. And then we have Sydney in Providence, which is just like a little it says airy spot for breakfast and light lunches, which is really the perfect description of it. They sell coffee, tea, <laughs> espresso. They do like avocado toast and egg. Uh, I think they do like acai bowls, stuff like that. Um, yeah. Really like simple stuff. Simple cool spot. Um, it, right in downtown Providence. It's near Cafe Nuovo, um, Jackie's Galaxy. Jackie's Galaxy, mm-hmm. Capital Grill. But it's like right, right by Cafe Nuovo and Jackie's cool. Galaxy. Cool, cool, perfect. All right, and the last place is Crew Cafe in Newport, Rhode Island. Yeah. It is, uh, get the Reuben sandwich. It's really yeah. good. It's a really nice spot. It's really Their busy all the time. Their hash is delicious. Their hash is delicious. They have a really good uh, menu. Mm-hmm. It's very busy. It's kind of like an in and out place. They'll kick you out. Uh, I think I think you can only sit for 40 minutes and they'll be like, 
get the hell out of here. I, uh, they've never done that to us. They've done it to me multiple Maybe times. Maybe during COVID. Yeah. Multiple times they've done COVID. it to me, but I like I respect that. <laughs> okay, so I'm not complaining. I'm just saying like it's just that's the but kind of place BYOB, it is. But it's BYOB. You can bring yeah. you could bring your own stuff for mimosas. Ask them for some orange juice and bring prosecco. Uh, yes, uh, they'll give you the orange juice. Orange juice is not free, uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's it's a really really cool spot. You should definitely yeah. uh, you should definitely check that. Lots out. of great sandwiches and breakfast sandwiches as mm-hmm. well. Lunch Absolutely. sandwiches and breakfast sandwiches. Yep, good coffee. Um, really nice spot. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is it for this video. I feel like we covered a good amount of mm-hmm. brunch places. If you have any questions uh, regarding not only brunch restaurants, uh, this is obviously only our, our opinion, but if you're considering moving here, if you have any questions about the lifestyle in Rhode Island and where you would see fit or where you would fit in there, do not hesitate to reach out to us. You can uh, find us anywhere. Our information will be below this video. Reach out to us anytime. uh, And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. With that, we are out. With that, we're out.